Good morning, queens. Welcome to my morning routine. You guys, this is real life ASMR. Those are real birds. This is not background noise. Those are my BS birds. Okay, so my face is washed. Now these are my skincare. I don't know if they're good or not because I still break out, but um, I still, I'm still gonna use them. So for the moisturizer, it's this one. I don't think I'm gonna re uh, repurchasing this when it finishes it just because I feel like there's something better out there. So yeah. This is also actually a sunscreen, so it's not too bad, I guess. Also, I want to tell you guys that it is like 8.15 in the morning right now. I don't know if you guys remember um, the era when I was waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning, 5.50. Oh my goodness, you guys. I was dedicated to the grind. It was an amazing time. It really was. Uh, why I don't wake up at 6 in the morning anymore? Well, let me tell you guys, um, short, short story, long story short, I got a treadmill. So that's pretty much the reason why I don't go to the gym anymore. So that means I don't really need to leave my house at a certain time because I have the treadmill here. And you guys will see that I'm obsessed with, um, at home workouts. So that's pretty much why I don't go no more. Nail mucin. Now it is time to get dressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and I'll be with you guys right now. All right guys, so I have my clothes. Even though I don't go to the gym, I still dress as if I'm going to the gym because um, why not? It's very cute. So let's go ahead and change. This jacket from TikTok shop. It was $5. It's cute, but it very much does look like it's $5. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and change. Some perfume. I know some of you guys are wondering, this bitch has not brushed her teeth yet. And that is because we have not taken the things that we take every day. And you guys are going to see why it's good that I brush my teeth after. By the way, you guys, it's only me here at the house. My boyfriend's at work, so don't worry about it. Maybe a little bit of dry shampoo as well. Don't worry, you guys. I know the inside of the cup looks disgusting, but if you drink green tea, then you know that it's going to mess up all your mugs. I mean, I wish I would have known that, but I didn't. But yeah, you guys, I have scrubbed this millions of times and it just is the way it is. So, sorry. The green tea. recorded what I just said but okay as you guys can see that is my morning lineup routine as of right now we got our garlic we got our azos we got our green tea we have our sea moss sea moss is gonna be the first thing that I tried today so I'm super excited I told you guys that in a previous vlog that today is gonna be the first time that I try this so I'm super excited let's get a cute little thumbnail And I know that you guys saw the garlic clove also in the lineup. And here it is. I chopped it up. 
there's still a couple more pieces and ever since i started swallowing a garlic clove every day for two weeks you guys i hardly ever bloat you guys this is my morning skinny this is how i will look all day if i eat the garlic clove it's actually insane what a garlic clove can do and i know there's so many other more benefits to it there's a lot i think the list goes on and on but i'm not going to sit here and tell you guys and pretend that i know what it does it does a lot for you <laughs> just look it up i'm sorry queens i'm not an educated queen i think we know that but um here's my garlic clove let's go ahead and swallow it this is not i mean it's one of my favorite parts of the day because i'm gonna be skinny all day but it's very harsh it's very acidic -y. but okay you guys let's go ahead and do this And I do one little piece at a time because I'm scared of choking. Water. We're gonna start off with our azos now i don't take these every day but i take them pretty pretty often a couple times a week and this is just cranberry urinary tract health supplements i take two Okay, yes, I fell for it. I bought the fucking sea moss, okay? Because I'll follow any trend that helps me look prettier, okay, honey bunch? So there's no shame in that, okay? So we are gonna try this dragon fruit sea moss. This is gonna be my first time, first impressions, first everything. I haven't even opened it. So let's go ahead and try. I got my green tea here, skinny morning activities. Well, it doesn't have a bad smell. This is how it looks inside. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully I'm getting a good angle. But looks very pretty. Let's go ahead and try our first spoon of sea moss together. Cheers to getting skinnier and prettier all year. Okay, I don't really know how the fuck to explain how this tastes, but it tastes like dragon fruit, obviously. But it's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. It almost tastes kind of like... It's too early for me to use my head. But um, hopefully this helps with my brain fog because I think it's supposed to help because clearly, you know, I need help. Yeah, you guys, this wasn't bad. I will let you guys know how everything goes after I'm done with this job. All right, you guys, I tried it. But oh my God, you guys, this is actually like, it has like such a strange taste and texture. I wouldn't say it's very outrageous for me because I'm kind of down to, I'm not very picky, but this is actually interesting. I'm very excited to see what this whole jar can do to me by the time it's finished. So I would probably say two months and it's gone, maybe a month, cause I take a spoonful every morning. So you know what, maybe like around a month. Hopefully it can clear up my skin, you know, clear my brain fog, do what it needs to do. I don't know, just hopefully it does what it needs to do, which is the right things, make me look pretty skinny and you know, less 
brain foggy. <laughs> let me let me open it up with you guys so you guys can see the sea moss gel. Oh my god, it's on my lip. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It doesn't smell like the ocean at all, actually. But um, yeah, that is it. Now we're going to take five sips out of our green tea. And then we're going to get started on our Pilates for the day. Because the sun's out exactly where I want it to be for my mat. different videos you guys um i kind of switch off but this one that i do is probably one of my most very effective ones and i feel like i do this probably like two to three times a week so we are going to start it let's get it prioritize it too much for like once a week or two times a week but I do prioritize this video right here you guys because I feel like this one kills me this one completely kills me this one right here and the reason why I do this 10 minute booty shaping workout is because well I am at 156 that is my weight right now and I was at one 79 so 178 179 so I have lost weight which means I have lost a lot of my and but so I try doing a little booty shaking workout just so you know it shows that something's there I don't know maybe in the future I'll get into like weightlifting for my butt but I feel like for now it's just this video so start with that outside leg up and down up and down. Four, three, take it up and open. Up and open. Good. Push, rotate. So now we're not just getting the big, bring it in. So up, cross, and down. You want that knee to cross the other knee and then bring it down. Pushing straight up, cross, and down. Four, three, two, hold, bring it in. And heel, knee, Heel for 10 over your knee. Pull it into your chest as you push the knee away with the elbow. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let me stretch. Also, you guys, I still do walk one hour every day, but I don't really do that in the mornings because my morning is already very packed full of things. So I try to do my walks like at night when i'm watching netflix and after dinner so you guys are probably not going to see that sometimes i'll do 15 minutes of walking after breakfast but we'll see if i do it to this time it just depends how i feel Ugh. but i'm exhausted i'm hungry so let's go ahead and make breakfast
with you guys here is my breakfast we have a tomato mozzarella type of toast we have pesto right here on the bottom cheese my egg and my tomato let's take a bite Truly perfection. Mm -mm. I used to never prioritize eating like a good, healthy, protein, colorful meal in the morning. It was always like, oh, I would always skip breakfast, you know, because I thought I was being skinny. I'm pretty sure I've already said this a million times. And that's not the way to go, honey bunch. If you have a good breakfast, it's the beautiful start to a skinny day because a good breakfast is gonna keep you pretty full for the rest, you know, pretty feeling good for the rest of the day. Of course, I'm gonna have lunch, but I'm gonna probably have like a smaller light lunch because I'm gonna be not as hungry because of this. And before, when I would skip lunch, and when I would skip breakfast and think I was being skinny, I would indulge and eat extra during lunch and extra during dinner. So. It's a, it's a learning process. I'm still learning. And you guys already know that I don't count my calories. I estimate. So each bread is 70 calories. Then we have the tomato. Then we have the egg. Pesto is not that much either. So I would only say like the cheese is a little more extra. And you know what is also crazy? is that I know you guys are not gonna see a coffee for my morning routine, which is crazy because coffee in the morning, duh, but I only drink my coffees in the afternoon now. If I ever do decide to wake up at six in the morning again and do that whole lifestyle, which I miss, um, I will have two coffees, one after I'm done working out and then another one and then another one in the afternoon. So if I wake up at six, I'm allowed to have two coffees, but since I'm just waking up, I got 7.30, I don't wake up too tired, so I'm fine. But yeah, you guys, and that is pretty much it for my morning ritual routine. This is the perfect morning for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.